The Gospel of Bartholomew. At that time, before the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, all the disciples were gathered together, questioning him and saying, Lord, show us the mystery in the heavens. But Jesus answered and said unto them, If I put not off the body of flesh I cannot tell you. But after that he had suffered and risen again, all the apostles, looking upon him, durst not question him, because his countenance was not as it had been aforetime, but showed forth the fullness of power. Bartholomew therefore drew near unto the Lord and said, I have a word to speak unto thee, Lord. And Jesus said to him, I know what thou art about to say, say then what thou wilt, and I will answer thee. And Bartholomew said, Lord, when thou wentest to be hanged upon the cross, I followed thee afar off, and saw thee hung upon the cross, and the angels coming down from heaven and worshipping thee. And when there came darkness, I beheld, and I saw thee, that thou wast banished away from the cross, and I heard only a voice in the parts under the earth, and great wailing and gnashing of teeth on a sudden. Tell me, Lord, whither wentest thou from the cross? And Jesus answered and said, Blessed art thou, Bartholomew, my beloved, because thou sawest this mystery, and now will I tell thee all things whatsoever thou askest me. For when I vanished away from the cross, then went I down into Hades, that I might bring up Adam, and all them that were with him, according to the supplication of Michael the archangel. Then said Bartholomew, Lord, what was the voice which was heard? Jesus saith unto him, Hades said unto Belier, As I perceive, a god cometh hither. And the angels cried unto the powers, saying, Remove your gates, ye princes, remove the everlasting doors, for behold the king of glory cometh down. Hades said, Who is the king of glory, that cometh down from heaven unto us? And when I had descended five hundred steps, Hades was troubled, saying, I hear the breathing of the Most High, and I cannot endure it. But the devil answered and said, Submit not thyself, O Hades, but be strong, for God himself hath not descended upon the earth. But when I had descended, yet five hundred steps, the angels and the powers cried out, Take hold, remove the doors, for behold the King of glory cometh down. And Hades said, O, oh, woe unto me, for I hear the breath of God. And the devil said unto Hades, Why affrightest thou me, Hades, it is a prophet, and he hath made himself like unto God, this prophet will we take and bring him hither unto those that think to ascend into heaven. And Hades said, Which of the prophets is it? Show me, is it Enoch the scribe of righteousness? But God hath not suffered him to come down upon the earth before the end of the six thousand years. Sayest thou that it is Elias, the avenger? But before he cometh not down. What shall I do, whereas the destruction is of God, for surely our end is at hand? For I have the number, of the years, in mine hands. Be not troubled, make safe thy gates and strengthen thy bars. Consider, God cometh not down upon the earth. Hades saith unto him, These be no good words, that I hear from thee, my belly is rent, and mine inward parts are pained, it cannot be but that God cometh hither. Alas, whither shall I flee before the face of the power of the great king? Suffer me to enter into myself, for before thee was I formed. Then did I enter in, and scourged him, and bound him with chains, that cannot be loosed, and brought forth thence all the patriarchs, and came again unto the cross. Bartholomew saith unto him, I saw thee again, hanging upon the cross, and all the dead arising and worshipping thee, and going up again into their sepulchres. Tell me, Lord, who was he whom the angels bear up in their hands, even that man, that was very great of stature? And what spakest thou unto him, that he sighed so sore? Jesus answered and said unto him, It was Adam the first formed, for whose sake I came down from heaven upon earth. And I said unto him, I was hung upon the cross for thee, and for thy children's sake. And he, when he heard it, groaned and said, So was thy good pleasure, O Lord. Again Bartholomew said, Lord, I saw the angels ascending before Adam and singing praises. But one of the angels which was very great, above the rest, would not ascend up with them, and there was in his hand a sword of fire, and he was looking steadfastly upon the only. And all the angels besought him, that he would go up with them, but he would not. But when thou didst command him to go up, I beheld a flame of fire issuing out of his hands, and going even unto the city of Jerusalem. And Jesus said unto him, Blessed art thou, Bartholomew my beloved, because thou sawest these mysteries. This was one of the angels of vengeance which stand before my father's throne, and this angel sent he unto me. 
and for this cause he would not ascend up, because he desired to destroy all the powers of the world. But when I commanded him to ascend up, there went a flame out of his hand, and rent asunder the veil of the temple, and parted it in two pieces for a witness unto the children of Israel for my passion, because they crucified me. But the flame which thou sawest issuing out of his hands smote the house of the synagogue of the Jews, for a testimony of me wherein they crucified me. And when he had thus spoken, he said unto the apostles, Tarry for me in this place, for today a sacrifice is offered in paradise. And Bartholomew answered and said unto Jesus, Lord, what is the sacrifice which is offered in paradise? And Jesus said, There be souls of the righteous which today have departed out of the body, and go unto paradise. And Bartholomew said, Lord, how many souls depart out of the world daily? Jesus saith unto him, Thirty thousand. Bartholomew saith unto him, Lord, when thou wast with us teaching the word, didst thou receive the sacrifices in paradise? Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, my beloved, that I both taught the word with you, and continually sat with my father, and received the sacrifices in paradise every day. Bartholomew answered and said unto him, Lord, if thirty thousand souls depart out of the world every day, how many souls out of them are found righteous? Jesus saith unto him, Hardly fifty-three my beloved. Again Bartholomew saith, And how do three only enter into paradise? Jesus saith unto him, The fifty-three enter into paradise, or are laid up in Abraham's bosom, but the others go into the place of the resurrection, for the three are not like unto the fifty. Bartholomew saith unto him, Lord, how many souls above the number are born into the world daily? Jesus saith unto him, One soul only is born above the number of them that depart. And when he had said this, he gave them the peace, and vanished away from them. Now the apostles were in the place cherubim, with Mary. And Bartholomew came and said unto Peter and Andrew and John, Let us ask her that is highly favored how she conceived the incomprehensible or how she bare him that cannot be carried, or how she brought forth so much greatness. But they doubted to ask her. Bartholomew therefore said unto Peter, Thou that art the chief, and my teacher, draw near and ask her. But Peter said to John, Thou art a virgin and undefiled and beloved, and thou must ask her. And as they all doubted and disputed, Bartholomew came near unto her with a cheerful countenance and said to her, Thou that art highly favored, the tabernacle of the Most High, unblemished we, even all the apostles, ask thee, or all the apostles have sent me to ask thee, to tell us how thou didst conceive the incomprehensible, or how thou didst bear him that cannot be. But Mary said unto them, Ask me not, or do ye indeed ask me, concerning this mystery. If I should begin to tell you, fire will issue forth out of my mouth and consume all the world. But they continued, yet the more to ask her. And she, for she could not refuse to hear the apostles, said, Let us stand up in prayer. And the apostles stood behind Mary, but she said unto Peter, Peter, thou chief, thou great pillar, standest thou behind us? Said not our Lord, the head of the man, is Christ now therefore stand ye before me and pray. But they said unto her, In thee did the Lord set his tabernacle, and it was his good pleasure, that thou shouldest contain him, and thou oughtest to be the leader in the prayer. But she said unto them, Ye are shining stars, and as the prophet said, I did lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence shall come mine help. Ye, therefore, are the hills, and it behoveth you to pray. The apostles say unto her, Thou oughtest to pray, thou art the mother of the heavenly king. Mary saith unto them, In your likeness, did God form the sparrows, and sent them forth into the four corners of the world. But they say unto her, He that is scarce contained by the then Mary stood up before them, and spread out her hands toward the heaven, and began to speak thus. O God the exceeding great, and all-wise, and King of the world's ages, that art not to be described, the ineffable, that didst establish the greatness of the heavens, and all things by a word. That out of darkness or the unknown didst constitute and fasten together the poles of heaven in harmony, didst bring into shape the matter, that was in confusion, didst bring into order the things, that were without order, didst part the misty darkness from the light, didst establish in one place the foundations of the waters. Thou that makest the beings of the air to tremble, and art the fear of them that are on, or under, the earth, that didst settle the earth, and not suffer it to perish, and fillest it, which is the nourisher of all things, with showers of blessing, son of the Father, 
thou whom the seven heavens hardly contained, but who wast well pleased to be contained without pain in me, thou that art thyself the full word of the Father in whom all things came to be. Give glory to thine exceeding great name, and bid me to speak before thy holy, and when she had ended the prayer she began to say unto them, Let us sit down upon the ground, and come thou, Peter the chief, and sit on my right hand, and put thy left hand beneath mine armpit, and thou, Andrew, do so on my left hand, and thou, John, the virgin, hold together my bosom, and thou, Bartholomew, set thy knees against my back and hold my shoulders, lest when I begin to speak my bones be loosed one from another. And when they had so done she began to say. When I abode in the temple of God, and received my food from an angel, on a certain day there appeared unto me one in the likeness of an angel, but his face was incomprehensible, and he had not in his hand bread or a cup, as did the angel which came to me aforetime. And straightway the robe veil of the temple was rent and there was a very great earthquake, and I fell upon the earth, for I was not able to endure the sight of him. But he put his hand beneath me, and raised me up, and I looked up into heaven, and there came a cloud of dew, and sprinkled me from the head to the feet, and he wiped me with his robe, and said unto me, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the chosen vessel, grace inexhaustible. And he smote his garment upon the right hand, and there came a very great loaf, and he set it upon the altar of the temple, and did eat of it first himself, and gave unto me also. And again he smote his garment upon the left hand, and there came a very great cup full of wine, and he set it upon the altar of the temple, and did drink of it first himself, and gave also unto me. And I beheld, and saw the bread and the cup whole as they were. And he said unto me, Yet three years, and I will send my word unto thee, and then shalt conceive my son, and through him shall the whole creation be saved. And when he had so said he vanished away from mine eyes, and the temple was restored as it had been before. And as she was saying this, fire issued out of her mouth, and the world was at the point to come to an end, but Jesus appeared quickly, and laid his hand upon her mouth and said unto Mary, Utter not this mystery, or this day my whole creation will come to an end, and the flame from her mouth ceased. And the apostles were taken with fear lest haply the Lord should be wroth with them. And he departed with them unto the Mount Moriah, and sat in the midst of them. But they doubted to question him, being afraid. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Ask me what ye will, that I should teach you, and I will show it you. For yet seven days, and I ascend unto my Father, and I shall no more be seen of you in this likeness. But they, yet doubting, said unto him, Lord, show us the deep abyss according unto thy promise. And Jesus said unto them, It is not good for you to see the deep, notwithstanding, if ye desire it, according to my promise, come, follow me and behold. And he led them away into a place that is called Cherubim, that is the place of truth. And he beckoned unto the angels of the west, and the earth was rolled up like a volume of a book, and the deep was revealed unto them. And when the apostles saw it, they fell on their faces upon the earth. But Jesus raised them up, saying, Said I not unto you, it is not good for you to see the deep. And again he beckoned unto the angels, and the deep was covered up. And he took them, and brought them again unto the Mount of Olives. And Peter said unto Mary, Thou that art highly favored, entreat the Lord, that he would reveal unto us the things that are in the heavens. And Mary said unto Peter, O stone hewn out of the rock, did not the Lord build his church upon thee? Go thou therefore first and ask him. Peter saith again, O tabernacle that art spread abroad. Mary saith, Thou art the image of Adam, was not he first formed and then Eve? Look upon the sun, that according to the likeness of Adam it is bright. And upon the moon, that because of the transgression of Eve it is full of clay. For God did place Adam in the east and Eve in the west, and appointed the lights, that the sun should shine on the earth unto Adam in the east in his fiery chariots, and the moon in the west should give light unto Eve with a countenance like milk. And she defiled the commandment of the Lord. Therefore was the moon stained with clay, and her light is not bright. Thou therefore, since thou art the likeness of Adam, oughtest to ask him, but in me was he contained, that I might recover the strength of the female. Now when they came up to the top of the mount, and the master was withdrawn from them a little space, Peter saith unto Mary, Thou art she that hast brought to naught the transgression of Eve, changing it from shame into joy, 
it is lawful, therefore, for thee to ask. When Jesus appeared again, Bartholomew saith unto him, Lord, show us the adversary of men, that we may behold him, of what fashion he is, and what is his work, and whence he cometh forth, and what power he hath, that he spared not even thee, but caused thee to be hanged upon the tree. But Jesus looked upon him and said, Thou bold heart, thou askest for that which thou art not able to look upon. But Bartholomew was troubled and fell at Jesus's feet and began to speak thus. O lamp that cannot be quenched, Lord Jesus Christ, maker of the eternal light that is given unto them that love thee, the grace that beautifieth all, and hast given us the eternal light by thy coming into the world, that is to accomplish the work of the Father, has turned the shamefacedness of Adam into mirth, has done away the sorrow of Eve, with a cheerful countenance by thy birth from a virgin. Remember not evil against me, but grant me the word of mine asking. Who didst come down into the world, who hast confirmed the eternal word of the Father, who hast called the sadness of joy, who hast made the shame of Eve glad, and restored her by vouchsafing to be contained in the womb. And as he thus spake, Jesus raised him up and said unto him, Bartholomew, wilt thou see the adversary of men? I tell thee that when thou beholdest him, not thou only but the rest of. But they all said unto him, Lord, let us behold him. And he led them down from the Mount of Olives, and looked wrathfully upon the angels that keep hell, Tartarus, and beckoned unto Michael to sound the trumpet in the height of the heavens. And Michael sounded, and the earth shook, and Belier came up, being held by six hundred sixty angels and bound with fiery chains. And the length of him was one thousand six hundred cubits and his breadth forty cubits, his length one thousand nine hundred cubits, his breadth seven hundred, one wing of him eighty, and his face was like a lightning of fire, and his eyes full of darkness like sparks. And out of his nostrils came a stinking smoke, and his mouth was as the gulf of a precipice, and the one of his wings was fourscore cubits. And straightway when the apostles saw him, they fell to the earth on their faces and became as dead. But Jesus came near and raised the apostles and gave them a spirit of power, and he saith unto Bartholomew, Come near, Bartholomew, and trample with thy feet on his neck, and he will tell thee his work, what it is, and how he deceiveth men. And Jesus stood afar off with the rest of the apostles. And Bartholomew feared, and raised his voice and said, Blessed be the name of thine immortal kingdom from henceforth even forever. And when he had spoken, Jesus permitted him, saying, Go and tread upon the neck of Belier. And Bartholomew ran quickly upon him and trod upon his neck. And Belier trembled. And Bartholomew raised his voice and said thus, O womb more spacious than a city, whiter than the spreading of the heavens, that contained him whom the seven heavens contain not, but thou without pain, didst contain sanctified in thy bosom, evidently out of place. Then did Antichrist tremble and was filled with fury. And Bartholomew was afraid, and fled, and said unto Jesus, Lord, give me an hem of thy garments that I may have courage to draw near unto him. But Jesus said unto him, Thou canst not take an hem of my garments, for these are not my garments which I wore before I was crucified. And Bartholomew said, Lord, I fear lest, like as he spared not thine angels, he swallow me up also. Jesus saith unto him, were not all things made by my word, and by the will of my Father, the spirits were made subject unto Solomon? Thou, therefore, being commanded by my word, go in my name and ask him what thou wilt. And Bartholomew made the sign of the cross and prayed unto Jesus and went behind him. And Jesus said to him, Draw near. And as Bartholomew drew near, fire was kindled on every side, so that his garments appeared fiery. Jesus saith to Bartholomew, as I said unto thee, tread upon his neck and ask him what is his power. And Bartholomew went and trod upon his neck, and pressed down his face into the earth as far as his ears. And Bartholomew saith unto him, Tell me who thou art, and what is thy name? And he said to him, Lighten me a little, and I will tell thee who I am, and how I came hither, and what my work is, and what my power is. And he lightened him, and saith to him, Say all that thou hast done, and all that thou doest. And Belier answered and said, If thou wilt know my name, at the first I was called Satanel, which is interpreted a messenger of God, but when I rejected the image of God my name was called Satanas, that is, an angel that keepeth hell, Tartarus. 
and again Bartholomew saith unto him, Reveal unto me all things and hide nothing from me. And he said unto him, I swear unto thee by the power of the glory of God, that even if I would hide aught I cannot, for he is near that would convict me. For if I were able I would have destroyed you like one of them that were before you. For, indeed, I was formed the first angel, for when God made the heavens, he took a handful of fire, and formed me first. Michael second. For he had his son before the heavens, and the earth and we were formed, for when he took thought to create all things, his son spake a word, so that we also were created by the will of the son, and the consent of the father. He formed, I say, first me, next Michael the chief captain of the hosts that are above, Gabriel third, Uriel fourth, Raphael fifth, Nathanael sixth, and other angels of whom I cannot tell the names. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Zathanael, and other six thousand angels. Michael the honor of power, third Raphael, fourth Gabriel, and other seven. Raphael third, Gabriel fourth, Uriel fifth, Zathel sixth, and other six. For they are the rod bearers, lictors, of God, and they smite me with their rods, and pursue me seven times in the night, and seven times in the day, and leave me not at all, and break in pieces all my power. These are the, twelve, angels of vengeance which stand before the throne of God, these are the angels, that were first formed. And after them were formed all the angels. In the first heaven are an hundred myriads, and in the second an hundred myriads, and in the third an hundred myriads, and in the fourth an hundred myriads, and in the fifth an hundred myriads, and in the sixth an hundred myriads, and in the seventh an hundred myriads, and outside the seven heavens, is the first firmament wherein are the powers which work upon men. For there are four other angels set over the winds. The first angel is over the north, and he is called Cherim angel of the north, Mouch, and hath in his hand a rod of fire, and restraineth the superfluity of moisture, that the earth be not over much wet. And the angel, that is over the north is called Ertha Alphatha, he hath a torch of fire, and putteth it to his sides, and they warm the great coldness of him, that he frees not the world. And the angel, that is over the south is called Kirkautha Cedar, and they break his fierceness, that he shake not the earth. And the angel, that is over the southwest is called Naautha, and he hath a rod of snow in his hand, and putteth it into his mouth, and quencheth the fire, that cometh out of his mouth. And if the angel quenched it, not at his mouth it would set all the world on fire. And there is another angel over the sea which maketh it rough with the waves thereof. Bartholomew saith unto him, Flo chastisest thou the souls of men? Devil saith unto him, Wilt thou that I declare unto thee the punishment of the hypocrites, of the backbiters, of the jesters, of the idolaters, and the covetous, and the adulterers, and the wizards, and the diviners, and of them that believe in us, and of all whom I look upon? when I will show any illusion by them. But they that do these things, and they that consent unto them or follow them, do perish with me. Bartholomew said unto him, Declare quickly how thou persuadest men, not to follow God and thine evil arts, that are slippery and dark, that they should leave the straight and shining paths of the Lord. Bartholomew saith unto him, I will that thou declare it in few words. And he smote his teeth together, gnashing them, and there came up out of the bottomless pit a wheel having a sword flashing with fire, and in the sword were pipes. And I asked him, saying, What is this sword? And he said, This sword is the sword of the gluttonous, for into this pipe are sent they that through their gluttony devise all manner of sin. Into the second pipe are sent the backbiters which backbite their neighbor secretly. Into the third pipe are sent the hypocrites, and the rest whom I overthrow by my contrivance. And Antichrist said, I will tell thee. And a wheel came up out of the abyss, having seven fiery knives. The first knife hath twelve pipes. Antichrist answered, The pipe of fire in the first knife, in it are put the casters of lots and diviners and enchanters, and they that believe in them, or have sought them, because in the iniquity of their heart they have invented false divinations. In the second pipe of fire are first the blasphemers, suicides, idolaters, in the rest are first perjurers. And Bartholomew said, Dost thou then do these things by thyself alone? And Satan said, If I were able to go forth by myself, I would have destroyed the whole world in three days, but neither I nor any of the six hundred go forth. For we have other swift ministers whom we command, and we furnish them with an hook of many points, and send them forth to hunt, and they catch for us souls of men, enticing them with sweetness of divers baits, that is by drunkenness and laughter, 
by backbiting, hypocrisy, pleasures, fornication. And I will tell thee also the rest of the names of the angels. The angel of the hail is called Mermiath, and he holdeth the hail upon his head, and my ministers do adjure him, and send him whither they will. And other angels are there over the snow, and other over the thunder, and other over the lightning, and when any spirit of us would go forth either by land or by sea, these angels send forth fiery stones and set our limbs on fire. Bartholomew saith, Be still thou dragon of the pit. And devil said, Many things will I tell thee of the angels. They that run together throughout the heavenly places and the earthly are these, Mermiath, Anamatath, Douth, Meliath, Cherith, Graphathas, Ethra, Nephonos, Chalcatura. With them do fly, the things that are in heaven, and on earth, and under the earth. Bartholomew saith unto him, Be still and be feigned, that I may entreat my Lord. And Bartholomew fell upon his face, and cast earth upon his head, and began to say, O Lord Jesus Christ! The great and glorious name! All the choirs of the angels praise thee, O Master, and I that am unworthy with my lips do praise thee, O Master! Hearken unto me thy servant, and as thou didst choose me from the receipt of custom and didst not suffer me to have my conversation unto the end in my former deeds, O Lord Jesus Christ, hearken unto me, and have mercy upon the sinners. And when he had so said, the Lord saith unto him, Rise up, suffer him that groaneth to arise, I will declare the rest unto thee. And Bartholomew raised up Satan and said unto him, Go unto thy place, with thine angels, but the Lord hath mercy upon all his world. But the devil said, Suffer me, and I will tell thee how I was cast down into this place, and how the Lord did make man. I was going to and fro in the world, and God said unto Michael, Bring me a clod from the four corners of the earth, and water out of the four rivers of paradise. And when Michael brought them God formed Adam in the regions of the east, and shaped the clod which was shapeless, and stretched sinews and veins upon it, and established it with joints, and he worshipped him, himself for his own sake first, because he was the image of God, therefore he worshipped him. And when I came from the ends of the earth Michael said, Worship thou the image of God, which he hath made according to his likeness. But I said, I am fire of fire, I was the first angel formed, and shall worship clay and matter? And Michael saith to me, Worship, lest God be wroth with thee. But I said to him, God will not be wroth with me, but I will set my throne over against his throne, and I will be as he is. Then was God wroth with me and cast me down, having commanded the windows of heaven to be opened. And when I was cast down, he asked also the six hundred that were under me, if they would worship. But they said, Like as we have seen the first angel do, neither will we worship him that is less than ourselves. Then were the six hundred also cast down by him with me. And when we were cast down upon the earth we were senseless for forty years, and when the sun shone forth seven times brighter than fire, suddenly I awaked, and I looked about and saw the six hundred that were under me senseless. And I awaked my son Salpson, and took him to counsel how I might deceive the man on whose account I was cast out of the heavens. And thus did I contrive it. I took a vial in mine hand and scraped the sweat from off my breast, and the hair of mine armpits, and washed myself, I took fig leaves in my hands, and wiped the sweat from my bosom and below mine arms, and cast it down beside the streams of waters. In the springs of the waters whence the four rivers flow out, and Eve drank of it, and desire came upon her. For if she had not drunk of that water I should not have been able to deceive her. And Bartholomew came and fell at Jesus' feet and began with tears to say thus, Abba, Father, that art past finding out by us, word of the Father, whom the seven heavens hardly contained, but who wast pleased to be contained easily and without pain within the body of the Virgin, whom the Virgin knew not that she bare. Thou by thy thought hast ordained all things to be. Thou givest us that which we need before thou art entreated. Thou that didst wear a crown of thorns that thou mightest prepare for us that repent the precious crown from heaven, that didst hang upon the tree, that that thou mightest turn from us the tree of lust and concupiscence that didst drink wine mingled with gall, that thou mightest give us to drink of the wine of compunction, and wast pierced in the side with a spear, that thou mightest fill us with thy body and thy blood. Thou that gavest names unto the four rivers, to the first Phison, because of the faith which thou didst appear in the world to preach. To the second Gian, for that man was made of earth. 
to the third Tigris, because by thee was revealed unto us the consubstantial trinity in the heavens. To the fourth Euphrates, because by thy presence in the world thou madest every soul to rejoice, Euphrani, through the word of immortality. My God, and Father, the greatest, my King, save, Lord, the sinners. When he had thus prayed Jesus said unto him, Bartholomew, my Father did name me Christ, that I might come down upon earth and anoint every man, that cometh unto me with the oil of life, and he did call me Jesus, that I might heal every sin of them that know not. And again Bartholomew saith unto him, Lord, is it lawful for me to reveal these mysteries unto every man? Jesus saith unto him, Bartholomew, my beloved, as many as are faithful, and are able to keep them unto themselves, to them mayest thou entrust these things. For some there are that be worthy of them, but there are also other some unto whom it is not fit to entrust them, for they are vain, drunkards, proud, unmerciful, partakers in idolatry, authors of fornication, slanderers, teachers of foolishness, and doing all works that are of the devil, and therefore are they not worthy that these should be entrusted to them. And also they are secret because of those that cannot contain them, for as many as can contain them shall have a part in them. Herein therefore, my beloved, have I spoken unto thee, for blessed art thou and all thy kindred which of their choice have this word entrusted unto them, for all they that of my judgment. Then I, Bartholomew, which wrote these things in mine heart, took hold on the hand of. Glory be to thee, O Lord Jesus Christ, that givest unto all thy grace which all we have perceived. Alleluia. Glory be to thee, O Lord, the life of sinners. Glory be to thee, O Lord, death is put to shame. Glory be to thee, O Lord, the treasure of righteousness. For unto God do we sing. And as Bartholomew thus spake again, Jesus put off his mantle, and took a kerchief from the neck of Bartholomew, and began to rejoice and say, I am good, mild and gracious and merciful, strong and righteous, wonderful and holy I am good. Alleluia. I am meek and gentle. Alleluia. Glory be to thee, O Lord, for I give gifts unto all them that desire me. Alleluia. Glory be to thee, O Lord, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. And when he had ceased, the apostles kissed him, and he gave them the peace of love. Bartholomew saith unto him, Declare unto us, Lord, what sin is heavier than all sins? Jesus saith unto him, Verily I say unto thee that hypocrisy and backbiting is heavier than all sins, for because of them, the prophet said in the psalm, that the ungodly shall not rise in the judgment, neither sinners in the counsel of the righteouses, neither the ungodly in the judgment of my Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that every sin shall be forgiven unto every man, but the sin against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven. And Bartholomew saith unto him, What is the sin against the Holy Ghost? Jesus saith unto him, Whosoever shall decree against any man that hath served my Holy Father hath blasphemed against the Holy Ghost. For every man that serveth God worshipfully is worthy of the Holy Ghost, and he that speaketh anything evil against him shall not be forgiven. Woe unto him that sweareth by the head of God, yea, woe to him that sweareth falsely by him truly. For there are twelve heads of God the Most High, for he is the truth, and in him is no lie, neither for swearing. Ye, therefore, go ye and preach unto all the world the word of truth, and thou, Bartholomew, preach this word unto every one that desireth it. Bartholomew saith, O Lord, and if any sin with sin of the body, what is their reward? And Jesus said, It is good, if he that is baptized present his baptism blameless, but the pleasure of the flesh will become a lover. For a single marriage belongeth to sobriety, for verily I say unto thee, he that sinneth after the third marriage wife is unworthy of God. But if the lust of the flesh come upon him, he ought to be the husband of one wife. The married, if they are good and pay tithes, will receive a hundredfold. A second marriage is lawful, on condition of the diligent performance of good works, and due payment of tithes, but a third marriage is reprobated, and virginity is best. But ye, preach ye unto every man, that they keep themselves from such things, for I depart not from you, and I do supply you with the Holy Ghost. Jesus ascends in the clouds, and two angels appear and say, Ye men of Galilee. And Bartholomew worshipped him with the apostles, and glorified God earnestly saying, Glory be to thee, Holy Father, Son unquenchable, incomprehensible, full of light. Unto thee be glory, unto thee honor and adoration, 
world without end. Amen.